My older brother, Matt, he's really handy. Um, he can build or design anything. But before he had his own house to work on, he was a tortured artist whose only outlet was Christmas decorating. So every year in our house, there would be a lot of fighting over everything. The first thing was the location of the tree. He said it went by the stairs. My mom's like, no, we haven't done that in 10 years. They're pushing furniture around like chess pieces, just facing each other, like getting up their energy because they know it's going to be a long night of this kind of fighting. So the location of the tree is always sorted out. And then the next day after that, the, we always had a fake tree. So, you know, you have to unfold every little twig of the tree, and if they weren't symmetrical, Matt would be annoyed. And then the, the light string had to be mathematically proportional to the tree. So he'd get in there and why are you flying? My mom's hovering in the background like, it's fine, it's fine. So every year we would go through this. Um, and one particular year, we had got the tree location sorted out, and we were on to, you know, the ornaments and other things. And then we had a, uh, a garland issue. Remember garland? Yeah, we, we had this blue garland, and we used to put it over the windows, and it would always fall down. So this year, my mom decides to pretend that oh, we don't we don't use garland, and Matt's like, no, we do! Look, I have the nails up so that it doesn't fall down. We're putting the garland up. So he's putting it up, she's pulling it down. He's like, putting it back up. She's like, fine, you know, wait, when you go to sleep, it's coming down, it's coming down. He's like, I won't go to sleep. <laughs> So then there's the ornaments, and you know, then we're, we're fighting about that, about what actually in the house is an ornament. He says, that's a bird's nest. You're attaching it with a clothespin. It doesn't go on the tree. <laughs> Finally, then it's time for the last ornament to go on. That's another argument. Is it the star at the top? Is it the angel at the top? Matt says it's the star. Mom says it's the angel. Mom wants to be the last one to put the ornament on. It's my house. It's my tree. I put the angel on. But then Matt keeps on taking another ornament off and putting it back on just to have the last ornament on to bother her. So, you know, we think it's done and we think that the tree is finished and that the fighting's over for now, but no. My dad goes over to the dining room table and he picks up a CVS bag and he lovingly pulls out a box of tinsel. He was at the store and he saw this and it reminded him of his boyhood days growing up in the 50s when everybody had a lot of tinsel on their tree. And he thought, wouldn't it be nice if we had tinsel on our tree this year? So he opens up the box and he starts putting it on. Matt goes, what is that? Dad goes, tinsel. Continues to put it on. Matt goes, that looks ridiculous. We're not putting that starts taking it off. Well, Mom has had enough. She pounces. This is our tree and our house, and Dad got his tinsel like he used to have, and it's going on. Matt says, no, it looks ridiculous. Look at it. He grabs all the tinsel off the tree. He grabs the box. He runs out in the street, out the front door. Now, my mom's freaking out because Matt always used to wear only shorts, even in wintertime. It's freezing out. So he's standing out in the middle of the street in the cold with the tinsel, and she's saying, come in. He's like, not until you agree. No tinsel. It's a standoff. Now, so we stop decorating the tree, and I try to peek outside to see what's going on, but my dad, even though we live in the city, he always wishes that we lived in the countryside, so he likes to pretend by letting the hedges grow wild. So we have these 10-foot-tall hedges. There's always flocks of birds flying out whenever you go past it. I think a homeless guy used to live in there, so I can't really see past it. And at Christmas, my mom will tie like a few red branches onto the, bows onto the branches. So I can't really see Matt past the hedges. But the other thing, even though we have the hedges, pretending we're in the country, we're always reminded that we actually do live in the city because our neighbors at the time, who are next door to us and the other half of our twin, they're always getting in fights and shooting the windows out of each other's car, where the cops are showing up for a drug raid and shooting their pit bull, whose name is obviously Lucky, and then they put a memorial wreath up in their front door that says Lucky, and it just shows how out of place our family is on the street because they're fighting over drug deals and we're fighting over Christmas garland. So the neighbors start to peek out of their windows thinking they're going to hear gunshots or see blood or something, but it's just Matt in a shorts having a Marlon Brando moment. Tinsel! So we just start decorating again, you know, because my mom's not going to back down. And about 20 minutes later, he comes back in, but the, the box, it's, it's gone. And, and we don't see the box of tinsel again. Not that night. Not ever. It's great being Italian at Christmas until you have two stubborn Italians who are trying to decorate the tree at the same time. But what more can you do but grab a cannoli and enjoy the show? <laughs>